Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and I wanted to show you this here real quick. What the problem is, I've been having some problems with my Elgato software after I get done recording off the PlayStation. When you stop the recording, it will basically render it into a video and save it. So from what I understand, sometimes that render becomes corrupt or something. And as you can see right... Yeah, come on, man. That one. Yep. <laughs> and the bottom left there, it will build peaks. It's building peaks right now, and it'll get up to 99%, and it'll stop. And it'll freeze the whole program. You won't be able to do anything at all, and you can't even close it without going to the task manager and forcing it closed. So, I thought that I lost all this footage, which was the end of the demo. And see, it'll let me add it there, but then I can't play it. It's frozen right now. I can't do anything. So I thought that I lost the footage of the end of the demo, and I was going to have to go and do it again. And man, I've, it's been so hard finding time to even do this this weekend and try to get it out as soon as possible. So uh, this happened to me once before when I was recording Final Fantasy 15, and I just ended up deleting that footage because I couldn't get it to work. So I did some research. I went to, um, actually I did a Google search and I found a YouTube video that talked about this problem. And as you'll see in a little bit here, I ended up downloading this program called Handbrake. And I've heard of it before, but I never exactly knew what it did. And basically I think that it re-renders that footage into, you know, an uh, uh, MP4 again. I don't know why, <laughs> but it makes it work. So now I'm going to the task manager and I'm closing the program. So this is Handbrake right here. You go to file right there. Then you go and you find your footage that you're having problems with. Which is right there. It'll add it into here. And I don't know, I didn't look at this very much, but I see that it's 1920, uh, 1080. I believe after looking at it later that it's 30 frames per second instead of 60, which is no big deal as long as I can save this footage I'm not gonna cry about that so I went into browse and I found a place that I wanted to save it after it gets done re-rendering it we'll just rename it number two then go up top and hit start and on the bottom there you can see the progress it'll start re-rendering that video now I believe that this is like an hour long so I think it ended up taking like 28 minutes or something like that for this thing to do its thing, which was no problem because I had other stuff I could edit in the meantime. Yeah, there's my my uh, movie studio frozen, closing it there. So now you just wait. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that file that I just got done with, which is number two right there. Come on, just click it. Do it. <laughs> All right, it added it to my project here. As you can see in the bottom there, it is building peaks. And bam, done. It did it. So now I can drag it down to my project. And there it is. All the peaks are there. And I can tell you it worked. I went down there and I tried it. And as you can see before, it didn't work. Run it through Handbrake, put it in there, it works now. I don't know why, um, <laughs> other than Elgato didn't save it correctly, but it works. So the link for that will be down in the description. If you ever have problems like this yourself and you think you're gonna lose a bunch of footage, I just wanted to make this video to show you that it is possible and share this with you so that you don't lose a bunch of footage like I have in the past. So. If this is helpful to you, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your experiences and your thoughts down below in the comments, and you can subscribe to the channel if you like. <laughs> so, I hope this helps you guys out. It sure helped me out and saved me a hell of a lot of time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Later.